In this tutorial, we'll go over array destructuring. Array destructuring is an efficient way to extract multiple values from data in an array. Here I've just opened up my JavaScript console and we'll go over an example. First, we'll create an array. We'll call it animals. So we'll say const animals. And it'll have dog, cat, and horse. Next, say we want to create a variable with just the value of dog. So before array destructuring, we would do something like this. We would say const dog var. Next, say we want the value of cat, and we want that stored in its own array. So we would say const cat variable or cat var, and then we'd say animals one. And lastly, if we want to do the same with this horse string, we could say const horse var animals two. And here, if we console, we can see we have our value of horse stored in this horse variable here. Here we've written three separate lines of code, and that's fine, but it seems kind of inefficient. Let's use array destructuring instead. With array destructuring, we can write out just one line of code to accomplish what these three lines of code did. We can do this by saying const first element, comma, second element, and third element, and we can say animals. Great, so now if we write out first element, we can say that we have the value of dog here. And if we write out second element, we can see that we have this value of cat, and the same with third element. Okay, now let's pause for a second because this can look very confusing. This almost looks like we are creating a new array, but we are not. We are actually destructuring this array. Here, when we write first element, we are really just saying, okay, we want to get access to the first element in the animals array, and we want to assign it to the variable of first element. The key takeaway here is that these names, first element, second element, and third element, they don't matter. We could have written any name here that we wanted. What matters is the order. What do I mean when I say that the order matters? So if we look at this and we kind of picture this as an array, we can see that this first element is at position zero of this array. The second element is at position one and the third element is at position two. And keep in mind that arrays are zero indexed, which just means that in arrays, we start counting from zero instead of one. So here, JavaScript is looking between these brackets and it sees that this name of first element is at position one. So it's going to go into this animals array and it's going to take the element that's stored at position one and assign it to this variable with the name of first element. And the same thing happens with the second and third element. Again, we can name these anything we want. If we want to, we can say const dog, cat, and horse animals. And here we can see this worked when we write out dog, cat, and horse. If we think back to our example before, when we wrote out three separate lines of code, that was fine, but instead we can just do this and destructure all three of those values into variables in just one line of code. So destructuring is really just a shortcut. It's an easy, quick way to get references to elements in an array. Let's go through another example. So I cleared my console and let's create a new array. Uh, we'll call it fruits and we'll say um, banana, apple, and orange. What if we want to get the value of apple and we want to store it in a variable called apple? We don't care about banana or orange. Now we can't just do const apple fruits. Why can't we do this? Well, when we're doing this, then JavaScript will go in here and it will look between these brackets and it'll say, okay, uh, there is one here, uh, it's at position zero. And so then it will go and look inside of this fruits array and it will assign the element at position zero to this variable name of apple. And so that means uh, if we hit enter on this, which I'm not going to, then apple will be a variable and it will have the value of banana. 
but we actually don't want that, right? We want Apple to have the value of Apple. We don't want to assign the variable name Apple to banana. So let's remove that. And instead we're going to say const comma Apple. And then we're going to say fruits. And now if we write out Apple, we can see that we successfully created this variable of Apple and we gave it the value of Apple. We're using the comma as kind of a placeholder. So JavaScript will look into here and it'll kind of view this comma as a placeholder. It'll move on and it'll see that Apple is in the first position in the array. And then it'll go look over here and it will see the value of Apple is in the first position. And it'll assign this variable name to this element value here. This comma is kind of telling JavaScript to act as if a first element is there. And so this Apple variable is now the second element here. We could also do this if, say, we just wanted the value of orange. We could say const comma comma and then orange. And then again, if we write out orange, we see that we successfully created the orange variable and we pointed it to the value of orange. As a JavaScript developer, when you start learning React, you'll most likely run into array destructuring when you use React hooks. So you'll see something like const count set count and it'll do something like this use state. This is one of the reasons why it's good to know array destructuring if you are using JavaScript or React. Okay, so in this video we've learned all about array destructuring. Thanks for watching.